I'm going to double click on materials and it gives me the edit material window. The materials interface is where you create your material and define its properties. We're going to call our material steel. So we'll type in steel for the name. You can put in a description if you want, but it's not required. And inside the material behaviors, Abacus gives you a whole list of options in these different menus. So in general, you could set the density, you could set the mechanical properties such as elasticity, plasticity, uh, ductility, and so on. And depending on the simulation you're performing, depending what you need. So if you were maybe doing a heat transfer analysis, you might want to put in information such as the conductivity. You are not required to fill out every single one of these for all the materials. In fact, you only fill out what you absolutely need, and that's good enough for Abacus. Now remember once again that all of your units need to be consistent. So I'm going to go into General and click on Density. And for steel, I'm going to define the density as 7800 kilograms per meter cube. Remember, I only put in 7800, but I know my units are kilograms per meter cube because I use units of length in all of my dimensioning tasks when creating the part model. So once again, you need to keep your units in mind when you're keying in numbers. If you were to put this in grams per centimeter cube, your simulation just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. You would get completely wrong numbers due to unit errors. I'm going to go into mechanical, elasticity, set it to elastic. And here I need to key in the Young's modulus and the Poisson's ratio. A Poisson's ratio for steel is about 0 0.3. I'm going to go ahead type that in. And the Young's modulus is about 200 gigapascals. But remember, I can't put it in gigapascals. I need it to be in pascals now because I need to keep track of the units. So I'm going to key in two, 200 E9. So that's 200 gigapascals. I'm not going to worry too much about the other options over here. And I'm not going to put in any thermal properties or acoustic properties or any of that other stuff because this is what I need for the simulation. And I'm going to click on OK now. If you look in our model tree, the material object now has a material steel within it. And you can always right click on that and say edit and it'll take you back to this window. So I'm going to close this window. And that's if you wanted to change the material properties. You could of course create more than one material because your part might be created of different materials. It doesn't necessarily have to be all steel or all one material. And to do that you would just double click on materials and you create your second material. And when you hit OK it would appear below steel in this materials tree.